Ghana's ongoing corruption issue dating back to independence has been a challenge for successive governments. However, attempts to address the issue have been ineffective due to individuals involved. The Ghana Bar Association at its 23rd conference criticized the current administration's handling of persons accused of corruption. President of the Ghana Bar Association, Yao Ichampon Boafo, urged the president to uphold the high standards he set for himself. However, it is our respectful view that several reported corruption related incidents involving some of your appointees and also amongst some public officers under your administration and the largely lethargic manner with which they are dealt with and even defended and protected leaves a lot to be desired. It must be stressed that as president, the painful truth is that the back stops with you. It is enough to say that it will be a sad period for our democratic governance if such a public undertaking that gave millions of Ghanaians hope end up as a usual campaign rhetoric by a politi politician. The GBA president urged government to take action against wealthy individuals who are fueling illegal mining activities. The GBA holds the view that a lot more can be done to effectively deal with the menace. That poses a threat to our survival, especially in this period of clim climate change concerns. We call on government, political leadership, and key stakeholders to show more political will and integrity in decisively dealing with the Galamse menace. This can be done if the real powers behind the Galamse menace are identified and dealt with in accordance with law. The Bar Association urged the ikufuado led NPP government to increase its investment in basic education, which has been lacking funding in successive budget statements. The GBA calls on the government to do more for the basic school system, otherwise known as SITO, through increased and adequate funding, an equitable allocation of resources to, the, to help improve teaching and learning and to address the undeniable infrastructure deficit at that level. The conference ends on Friday, September 15th.